Archipelago of San Andrés, Providencia and Santa Catalina Spanish, Archipelago de San Andrés, Providencia y Santa Catalina, pronounced Ati Palau e San Andes po Beta i Encia i Santa Catalina, or, in everyday language, San Andrés y Providencia, is one of the departments of Colombia. It consists of two island groups about 775 kilometers 482 miles northwest of mainland Colombia, and eight outlying banks and reefs. The largest island of the archipelago is called San Andrés and its capital is San Andrés. The other large islands are Providencia and Santa Catalina Islands which lie to the northeast of San Andrés, their capital is Santa Isabel. Name The name is sometimes abbreviated to Archip de San Andrés. The official website abbreviates it as San Andrés. Gobernación de San Andrés. ISO 3166-2, CO lists it as San Andrés, Providencia y Santa Catalina. Statoids lists it as San Andrés y Providencia. Topic. History Topic. Spain formally claimed the archipelago of San Andrés and Providencia in 1510, a few years after the discovery of the Americas by Christopher Columbus. In 1544 the territory was placed under the administration of the Captaincy General of Guatemala. During the early years, Spain concentrated on exploring and colonizing the mainland, and the islands were hardly settled. In 1630, English Puritans arrived in Providence Island, under the aegis of the Providence Island Company. These Puritans decided to settle this promising tropical island rather than cold, rocky New England, but the Providence Island colony did not succeed in the same way as the Massachusetts Bay Colony. They established slave-worked plantations and engaged in privateering, which led to the capture of the colony by Spain in 1641, who had claimed it a century earlier. In the 1640s, the Puritan-controlled Commonwealth Government of England tried to regain the island, but without success. In 1670, English buccaneers led by Henry Morgan took over the islands, which they are connected to the British Mosquito Coast in present-day Nicaragua. The buccaneers and other pirates controlled the islands until 1689. Later Spain regained control of the archipelago, which it held until the independence of Colombia in 1822. In 1775, a Spanish lieutenant of Irish descent called Tomás O. Neil, was given military command of the islands and in 1790 named governor. He requested transferring the islands to the jurisdiction of the Viceroyalty of New Granada which was granted in 1803. That year Spain assigned the islands together with the province of Veraguas western Panama and the east coast of Nicaragua to the Viceroyalty of New Granada. The territory was administered from the province of Cartagena. Soon, trade links with Cartagena were greater than those with Guatemala. On the 4th of July 1818, French corsair Louis Michel Ory, flying the Argentine flag, captured Old Providence and Saint Catherine Islands with the help of 400 men and 14 ships. The island was populated by white English-speaking Protestants and their slaves. Ory and his team used the islands as their new base from which to pursue Central American independence. However, his efforts to also support Bolivar in his fight for Venezuelan and Colombian independence were repeatedly turned down. After the Spanish colonies became independent, the inhabitants of San Andres, Providence, and St. Catherine voluntarily adhered to the Republic of Gran Colombia in 1822, who placed them under the administration of the Magdalena Department. The first Mexican Empire, which was succeeded by the United Provinces of Central America UPCA, also claimed the islands. Gran Colombia in turn protested the UPCA's occupation of the eastern coast of Nicaragua. The UPCA broke up in 1838–1840, but Nicaragua carried on the dispute, as did Gran Colombia's successors, New Granada and Colombia. Colombia established a local administration in the islands in 1912. In 1928, Colombia and Nicaragua signed the Esguerra Barcenas Treaty, which gave control of the islands to Colombia. However, when the Sandinista government assumed power in the 1980s, Nicaragua repudiated the treaty. 
Colombia argues that the treaty S final ratification in 1930 when US forces were already on their way out confirms its validity. Colombia and Honduras signed a maritime boundary treaty in 1999 which implicitly accepts Colombian sovereignty over the islands. In 2001, Nicaragua filed claims with the International Court of Justice (ICJ) over the disputed maritime boundary, claiming 50,000 square kilometers (19,305 square miles) in the Caribbean, including the San Andres and Providencia archipelagos. Colombia responded that the ICJ has no jurisdiction over the matter, and increased its naval and police presence in the islands. Colombia also defended its claim in the ICJ. On December 13, 2007 the ICJ ruled that the islands were Colombian territory, but left the maritime border dispute unresolved. Colombia and Nicaragua will go through another trial to resolve these claims. On 19 November 2012, the International Court of Justice decided that Colombia had sovereignty over the islands. The island of Providencia was hit by Hurricane Beta on 29 October 2005, inflicting minor to moderate damage. United States claims in the 19th century, the United States claimed several uninhabited locations in the area under the Guano Island Act, including several now claimed by Colombia. In 1981, the U.S. ceded its claims to Serrana Bank and Roncador Bank to Colombia and abandoned its claim to Quita Sueño Bank. The United States still maintains claims over Serrania Bank and Bajo Nuevo Bank and considers them both to be unincorporated territories of the United States. Topic. Declaration of self-determination In 1903 the local Razal population rejected an offer from the U.S. to separate from Colombia in the wake of Panama's secession from Colombia. However, the native population of the island soon changed their minds when the policies of successive Colombian governments tried consistently to modify the majority Razal and British ethnic composition of the islands through extensive migration of Spanish-speaking mainland Colombians. To add fuel to the fire, the assimilation and immigration efforts were led largely by Catholic missionaries, which did not go well, considering that the native population was Protestant. Local government and representation Topic. Topic. 2007 elections Topic. A member of the Departmental Assembly for 15 years, Pedro Gallardo Forbes, of the Regional Integration Movement MIR, won the governor election at the October 28, 2007 election, with support from the Colombian Conservative Party and the Radical Change Party. He succeeds a governor from the Colombian Liberal Party. He got 8,187 votes 38.93%, Ori Guerrero Bowie Liberal Party, with support from the Democratic Colombia Party 8,160 votes 38.8%, and Jack Husni Yaller Social National Unity Party 4,063 votes 19.3%. Only 21,991 out of 41,197 potential electors voted in the gubernatorial election. At the departmental assembly, elected the same day, the nine seats were distributed among six parties, three liberals Arlington Howard, Q. Wincy Bowie Gordon and Leroy Carroll Bent Archbold, two Mir Jorge Mendez and Freddy Harazzo, two Democratic Columbia Party former MP Maria Teresa Uribe Bent and former Interior Secretary Rafael Gomez Redondo, two SNUP Fernando Cañon Flores and Maria Sed Darwich, one Radical Change Eber Esquivel Benitez and one Conservative Julio Cés Cesar Gallardo Martinez, the new mayor of Providence, Janeth Archbold, Team Columbia Party, a political ally of the new governor, was elected with 1,013 votes against Liberal Mark Taylor, 515 votes, SNUP Arturo Robinson, 514 votes, and Conservative Peter Bent. Topic: <laughs> Geography. Topic. Besides the San Andres and Providencia Island groups, there are eight atolls that belong to the department, including submerged Alice Shoal. <inaudible> Island of San Andres <inaudible> 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 
Topic: San Andres Island. Topic: This is the main island of the San Andres group and the largest of the department. It is located at 12 degrees 33 and 81 degrees 43 W. It measures 12 kilometers 7.5 miles in length with a width of 3 kilometers 1.9 miles and covers an area of 26 square kilometers 10 square miles. There is a tiny lagoon in the center of the island called Big Pond. The principal town is San Andres in the north of the island. Another town is San Luis on the east coast. Cayo Johnny, Johnny K lies 1.5 kilometers 0.9 miles in of German Point Punta Norte, the island's northern tip, and Haines K about the same distance east of the island. Cotton K is less than 1 kilometer 0.6 miles south of San Andres town on the northeastern coast. Topic: Caos de Albuquerque, Caos de SW, Southwest Cays. Topic: This atoll is southwest of San Andres at 12 degrees 10 and 81 degrees 51 W. It is the westernmost point of Colombia. The reef is about 7 kilometers 4.5 miles across. In the southern part are Cayo del Norte and Cayo del Sur. Cayo del Norte, the larger of the two, is up to 2 meters 7 feet high and overgrown with palm trees and bushes. Cayo del Sur, a few hundred meters further south, reaches a height of a little more than 1 meter 3 feet and is vegetated with a few bushes, and in the south with mangroves. There is a lighthouse on Cayo del Norte, at 12 degrees 10 and 81 degrees 50 W, operating since 1980. It is maintained by the Colombian Navy. Topic. Caos del Este Sudeste Cortown Cays, Caos de Ese Topic. This atoll is 22 kilometers 14 miles east-southeast of San Andres Island and 35 kilometers 22 miles northeast of Caos de Albuquerque, at 12 degrees 24 and 81 degrees 28 W. It is 14 kilometers 8.7 miles long and 4 kilometers 2.5 miles wide. There are a few sand cays in the southeast. The largest ones are Cayo del Este, Cayo Bolivar, West Cay, and Cayo Arena, none of which are higher than 2 meters 7 feet. All cays are overgrown with palm trees and bushes, and surrounded by mangroves. There is a Colombian Navy lighthouse on Cayo Bolivar. The Cays are regularly visited by fishermen from the Colombian mainland and San Andres. There are two concrete buildings on Cayo Bolivar, and a few wooden huts on the other Cays. <laughs> Banks and shoals Colombia claims sovereignty over six additional outlying banks and shoals, Alice Shoal, Bajo Nuevo Bank, Serenia Bank, Quita Sueño Bank, Serrana Bank, and Roncador Bank. Demographics the Departamento de San Andrés, Providencia y Santa Catalina covers a land area of 44 square kilometers 17 square miles and had a census population of 59,573. The latest official estimate for 2007 is 72,923. Before 1960, the population of the islands was almost entirely Razels, who are an Afro-Caribbean group, Protestant in religion, speaking San Andrés Providencia Creole. There is a minority of white English-speaking Protestants of British descent. Colombia has promoted the migration of Spanish-speaking mainlanders, with Catholic missions participating since 1947. This policy seems to be an answer to growing discontent within the Razel community that could strengthen separatist movements. A Razel majority would in this case win a pro-independence referendum, but this could be neutralized by outnumbering them with mainland Colombians. By 2005, Razels were only 30% of the 60,000 or more inhabitants of the islands, with the rest being mainland Colombians and English-speaking whites of British descent. Razels can speak both Spanish and English. Topic. Transportation Topic. Topic. Airports Topic. 
The airport serves the towns of San Andres and San Luis, but also commercially serves the nearby island of Providencia Island, all being major tourist and vacation spots for South and Central American tourists. Gustavo Rojas Piña International Airport is also known as Sesquicentenario International Airport. The airport is the sixth busiest airport in Colombia in terms of passengers, with 836,234 in 2006. Most of these passengers come from the continental part of the country, due to poor international direct service to the island. Many international tourists have to fly to one of Colombia's or Panama. S largest airports Bogota, Medellin, Cali, Cartagena, Panama City to be able to reach the islands. Although in recent years San Andres has started to receive seasonal charter flights mainly from Canada and a few Central American countries, the airport is one of Colombia's fastest growing airports with a 13.4% increase in the number of passengers between 2005 and 2006. Topic: References Topic. Topic. Sources. Topic. Deemer, Christian, Seperovic, Amalija, 2006. Territorial questions and maritime delimitation with regard to Nicaragua's claims to the San Andres Archipelago. Heidelberg Journal of International Law, HJIL. 66 to 167 minus 186. ISSN 0044-2348. Topic. External links. Topic. Official website. Gobernación del Archipiélago, Government of the Archipelago. In Spanish. Gobernación Archipiélago de San Andrés, Providencia y Santa Catalina. Geotautism http colon slash slash www.caribbeancolumbia.com San Andrés, Providencia and Santa Catalina are a perfect spot to explore geotourism. Visit the website made with National Geographic where you can find an interactive map guide the places to visit and much more. San Andrés Turismo San Andrés Tourism Gobernación Archipiélago de San Andrés, Providencia y Santa Catalina. Archived from the original on 19 November 2008. ICJ Nicaragua v. Colombia preliminary objections and merits and 2007 preliminary objections judgment and ASIL and BBC and Colombia President and Colombia MFA and Analysis 20 Hague YIL 75-119-2008 Tour operator in the island, website with satellite map Spanish. Tour operator with travel tips and must see in San Andres in N, S, De. Scuba diving information about San Andres Spanish. Information on some atolls German. Information on Colombian lighthouses German. Ocean dots at the Wayback Machine archived December 23, 2010. New York Times article on independence movement.